Hey, hello there guys, Broxens here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Sun and Moon series on the channel. So in the previous episode, we took on Dexio and got what we need for a Mega Ring thing, and now we're here in the Resolution Cave, and we have got to find the final Ultra Beast, which is Ultra Beast 5, well, Ultra Beast 05, Gluttony. So, before we actually are able to find this final Ultra Beast, I do need to get to the basement floor. That's important. That's important. So, we've got to find out how to get to the basement floor, and I'm not exactly sure how. Also, let me hop on Taros real quick, because I don't want to fight this trainer. Is it over this way? Oh, nice! TM26 Earthquake! Cool. Cool. So wait for her to look the other way. Run! Is this going to lead us to the basement? So pretty much, according to this guide, it says, whoops, drop the stylus there. According, well, it doesn't say whoops, drop the stylus there, but it says that it is in the basement floor. Let me see here. Found in Resolution Cave, it can be found in the basement. So we've got to get to the basement. And I don't know exactly how. <laughs> it's a little bit of a problem. Oh my gosh, why'd I have to fight you? I didn't want to fight him. I didn't want to fight him, but I did. Great. <laughs> Great. So let's see here. Please, please only have two. Like, it, it's good that he only has two Pokemon. I was worried that he'd have, like, a full team of 17. Well, he can't have 17 Pokemon. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just glad he doesn't have five Pokemon. <laughs> I'm fine with him having two. Two is perfectly fine by me. Anyways, it's gonna use Earthquake. You know, I've gotta tell you something pretty cool, Hiker Dude. I've got a better one. It's shiny. Except it's not really better. It sucks. <laughs> but hey, it's still shiny. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, without the hair, it probably would be fine as a shiny. But as it's the shiny it is, it's... Meh. Yeah, just, just, just meh. Could be better. I mean, if we had gotten, like, a shiny Mudsdale, I don't know what it looks like, but it's probably cooler. We've got stamina. It's got stamina. No. No. You know, this is the cool Mudsdale, pretty much. So there, there's two types of Mudsdales. You got the Mudsdale that never gets confused, and then you got the Mudsdale that always gets stronger whenever you hurt it. So... Yeah, I don't know which one's better. I think I think the one that never gets confused is good in certain situations, and then there's the one that's good in other situations. Like, a situation where you'd be good in having the one that never gets confused is the one where you'd have that move that confuses the opponent while also increasing their attack. Anyways, we're here in the basement floor. I'm gonna save my game. Always a good idea to save. Anyways, that move that increases the attack of the Pokemon but confuses them, and you'd be in a double battle where the other Pokemon uses it on you over and over again, you know, that'd be, that'd be a good situation to use that. Anyways, we have found the final Ultra Beast, which is, question mark, question mark, question mark, that is a cool looking Ultra Beast, whoa. What type is this? Dark Dragon. Dark Dragon type. So I definitely don't want to use a nice type move. I'm going to use Brave Bird, because we should outspeed it. Good. Good. Let's see how much damage this does do. It's only one times effective, I believe. So not too much. Not too much. And then it's going to use Heavy Slam. Dang. Dang. Dude. Dude, this thing is powerful. <laughs> Beast Boost as well. Almost forgot about that. Can't run away. Can't run away from this fight. Like, you, you actually can't. It's not possible. So, Thunderbolt sounds like a great move to use. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. Um. Wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, use next Pokemon. Lucky. Lucky. Let's see. 
Uh, does Lucky have anything that could be effective on this? Fire type isn't going to be very effective, so why am I using it? I don't know. I don't know, but hopefully you can get like a burn. Please don't get a burn. Oh, wait. Now that I think about it, the one thing you don't want to get is a burn. Because then this thing will attack you and attack you until it takes itself down. It's confused. It's confused. It is confused. This is good. This is good. So... I can use a flying type move, I just can't use a fighting type move because it's a dark type. Take it to red. Nicely done, don't hurt yourself, don't hurt yourself, good. Whew, I was worried. I was worried for a second there. So how many Pokemon, how many Pokemon do we have to catch this thing? Two Pokemon. Two Pokemon, I think it's a better idea to bring the bulky one out first. So the thing is, with Guzzlord, its capture rate is 15. So, I don't know if we'll be able to get it on the first try. Come on. Yeah, nicely done. Nicely done. Gotcha. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Was captured. And so, the final Ultra Beast that goes by the name of Guzzlord has been captured. There we go. Registered. All the Ultra Beasts have been captured. We did it. We did it. No nickname for you and you're going to get sent to the box. And once we have the chance, I need to arrange the box real quick. There we go. So, do I have an escape rope? Please tell me I have one. I sort of need one. Come on. Come on. Tell me I picked one up. Oh, wait. I saw it. I saw it. We have one. Oh, my gosh. This is useful. Oh, dang. Even Taros is taken with the escape rope? I, I, I did not know that you could pick up a Taros with an escape rope. That's good to know. Good to know. Also, there's another area here, the Pony Gauntlet. Gauntlet. And the Pony Coast? Is this the Pony Coast? Yeah, Pony Coast. So the Pony Gauntlet, we're going to be back there. We're going to be back there soon enough. Just, I have to I have to go through some other stuff before I do go back to the Gauntlet because we need to fight the trainers in the end of it all. Like Red, Blue, or Gary Green, however he goes by. And then a bunch of other trainers. But before we're able to take them all on, we need to finish off catching the legends and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go and talk to Looker. Let's tell him, hey, dude, I got it. I got the final one. The final Ultra Beast has been captured. We did it. I've finished sending the data. Thank you for your hard work. Well, now I'll be able to learn about uh, Guzzlord. Yes, we have successfully contained all of the UBs. Thank you so much for all your hard work on these missions, Alex. And Mr. Looker? Not at all. All I did was provide backup for the two of you. It was all you and Alex, Chief. And now that we have finally completed our mission, I will treat us all to a feast. One moment, please. Well, what is it, Chief? We've finally reached it, our grand finale which we should end with a big feast. What is this? Our truly final mission requires that we go to Aether Paradise and report to Miss Wick that we have contained all of the UBs. Ah, oh, you're right, and we must thank her for her Pokeballs known as Beast Balls. We'll be going to the Aether Paradise to report to Miss Wick about our success. If you're free, why don't you come along as well? Secret Lab? Sure. Do I actually have to go there? I actually have to personally walk? To that place? Couldn't they be kind enough to fly us there? <laughs> I mean, if they're going anyways, can we tag along? <laughs> oh man, let's just go. Let's just go over here to the Aether Paradise. And let's go talk to Mrs. Wick for not the last time. Well, at least I think so. I think we might see her again. To be fair, not sure. Not sure. Anyways, here we go. Inside the Aether Paradise and over here but first I'm gonna go to the PC real quick 
So let's see, let's see. Guzzlord is there. Gonna put you there. Gonna put you there. And those are all our Ultra Beasts. We have one Helego, four for Pheromosas, two Zerkatries or Circuitry, two Celestellas, and one Guzzlord to make our box of Ultra Beasts, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. We still need to catch a few more legendaries. I'm I'm putting like quotations without like I'm I'm doing quotations around legendaries because I don't consider the Ultra Beast legendaries because even though they're as powerful as legendaries, they're not really legendaries. Not really. Anyways, let's go back here to the lab of Mrs. Wick. Secret Lab B. Let's talk to them. Let's talk to them and see what's going on. Hey there, we've been waiting for you, Alex. Okay, what's going on? What's going on? Alex, thank you for coming. Not a problem. I'd like to thank you, first of all, for your hard work containing the UBs on behalf of the entire Foundation. I would like to offer you our most sincere thanks. With this, all the UBs that appeared from the Ultra Wormhole, which opened in the earlier incident, have been caught. Oh no, we're the ones who we who should be thanking you, I think. We couldn't have done it without the use of the, uh, the Beast Balls. Uh, they are negative assets of the Foundation. I'm happy to see them put to some good use. I hardly know how I can thank the two of you. Three of us. Oh yes, Mr. Looker did a great deal to help us with this mission. Speaking of Mr. Looker, where is he? But I thought he left before us. What's taking him so long to get here? I know I told him that we'd meet here. Could something have happened? Taihinda. What does that mean? Uh, really, Mr. Looker? Even after all this time? I'm sorry. I, I know it's a terrible habit, but I can't help it. And more importantly, it's a disaster. What does Taihinda mean? Let me Google Translate. Uh, Taihinda. In English. Let's see. What does it mean? What does it mean? Uh, it's hard. Like, it's difficult, I guess. It's a disaster, maybe? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Looker, you need to, like, work on your other languages. I don't think he knew what he just said. <laughs> It's like, it's like those people who try to say something in another language and fail miserably at it, but they sort of get something out that makes sense, but not exactly what we're trying to say. Anyways, anyways, I would imagine it must be what happened that made you so late. I was on the way here when I stopped by Mele Mele Island to get some of their famous and delicious malasada as a gift for you all. But just when I had finished my purchase, I chanced to look up at the sky and there, there it was, a mysterious black Something was zipping across the bright blue sky over Alola. It was black and yet it was shining somehow. It was it was like reflecting light. It, it, might, it might have been a UB. No, I'm certain of it. It surely was a UB. But it couldn't be. We haven't had any word from HQ about there being more UBs. Uh, please rest easy. I don't think it was a UB. We have hundreds of our Foundation members working in parallel with the International Police and scouring Alola for UBs, we have not detected any other UBs than the ones you've already contained. So you see, we should be quite safe for now. So what was it then? I suppose, perhaps I was just dazzled by the brilliant shining sky that stretches over Alola. And it is little wonder if you were dazzled, you have been working so hard. You must be very tired, Mr. Looker. Well, yes, I suppose I could do with a nice little break. And now you can have it. Uh, your paid leave has been approved. Hey, to leave? You mean actual vo vacation time? <laughs> wow. We're free to do whatever we would like to until we get next orders, and it's a chance to relax for a little while. And yeah, stay here and have a good look around the Alola region. Not for work this time, but just as a regular tourist doing some sightseeing. Then I think I will go and eat my fill of delicious Alolan cooking. There are simply too many restaurants and eateries that I would like to visit. And the traditional dish is at Sushi High Roller. There's sushi? Can I go get some? Sushi High Roller? Oh no, I completely forgot. I was supposed to be meeting someone. Was this a date? No, no, no not a date. I'm meeting with Mr. Nanu. I owe him... I, okay. I owe him quite a bit. I can't even talk. I'm just... Okay. 
owe him quite a bit for all his help. Yes, I suppose we do. So will you excuse me, Alex, everyone? I'm afraid I must be going. See you later. I really do. Thank you all. I hope we meet again someday. You know, I think we might. I think we might. Based on the success of Pokemon Sun and Moon, I think there's going to be a third game. And I really want there to be, you know... Uh, yes, my young Alex, I owe you my thanks. It was because of your efforts that we were able to keep the chief safe until the end. The folks at the HQ uh, thought that you needed to be paid for your work, so they sent in this. What? <laughs> he, he just gave us a million. Um, what? Are you sure? Like, are you sure that's a good idea? I feel like that's a lot of money for a kid to have. And now, I think it's time that I went. I'll be staying at the motel on Melee, Melee Island, so feel free to stop by anytime. See you later, looker. See you later. The UB conservation mission is complete. Alola shines beautifully. Okay, I thought Wick was going to say something there. Um, show me the UB data. Guzzlord. Okay. Limitless appetite. Interesting. Very, very, very interesting. You know? It, it's interesting to look at some of these UBs. Because, like, you, you've got to wonder, what are they? They're, they're, they're like Pokemon, but not, not quite, you know? There's a mystery that surrounds them. A very, very interesting mystery. Anyways, for now, I am going to end off this episode here. In the next episode of Pokemon Sun and Moon, we're probably going to start the search for the legendary Pokemon. And then after that, I'm not really sure if there's much else to do except for the battle tree. And then searching for all of the stuff we missed, like all of the cores for the, 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 the Zygarde cube thing. So yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Bye.